Hello, I'm Just In Time, and you're watching the Absurdly Epic YouTube channel. This is another Red Bubble reaction and analysis video, where we will be taking a look at uh, one of my designs and reacting to it. The design for this week is this Love Dragons. A few different variations of it, so um, I'll try to get all this done pretty quickly. Um, first, you might be wondering, what is print-on-demand? Um, print-on-demand, if you don't know, is where a designer such as myself designed items or makes designs for items that they plan to put on uh, things like uh, t-shirts, most notably, or stickers, or hats, or it can be whatever, even thermoses, mugs. Um, pillows, shower curtains, there's a lot of stuff. And that is what Redbubble is. Redbubble puts things, they keep the stock of the things, like they keep a stock of t-shirts or any other thing, like um, their mugs or the, the thermoses or shower curtains, you know, whatever it is, and then they'll print your design on it and then they'll sell it on their website. Now you get a slice of their website, which is kind of cool, um, but it has like their name on it. And so you're, it's your design through them. So you get a little bit of that money, which is pretty nice. Um, could be nicer, but you know, this way is actually a lot easier to start up and it's simpler for me who doesn't have much space to store many items and doesn't want to go through all the hassle of uh, physically making, manufacturing and shipping those items and then acquiring them and all that. So with this, you don't have to worry about as much. You just have to worry about designing and sort of advertising, bringing people in. And currently I've been on the uh, this particular site for about six months on Redbubble and I haven't sold much but in the last week I just started selling or getting sales so um, again it's still not much it's two things one was a hat and one was a sticker anyway I'm pretty excited because a sale is a sale no matter how you slice it it's just it's not gonna financially save me or, uh, you know, keep me going financially. So that's, I guess, a complaint I have with it. It's not really something I'm complaining about because I know it's got to work up. I'm just hoping it's not going to, you know, stop at this point. It's going to keep going. So um, th that's really my thoughts on the issue. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up was this episode was first recorded uh, and then it was it had to be, well it didn't have to be, it was just I, I don't know what happened to the recording. It got deleted somehow so I did it again and I did it on a new machine or a different machine than I have been working on so it wasn't set up right, so it didn't record my voice at all, so I'm taking another crack at it. And hopefully this time I can get it done quicker. And that's what I like. Alright, so next we're going to move on to the links that are below in the description area. I have links like um, to the product you see here um, that we've talked about before and uh, we're going to take a look at that link is directly below and then you scroll a little further down there's also links to my website to the shop in general and to my social media accounts then i have this little thing over here it says eurekas that's if you get a eureka moment during my video you can uh stop what you're doing and hit the like button or hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it or if there's something you find interesting, you might pause the video and leave a comment. And of course, uh, share the video. There's that share button. It will share whatever you want on social media. Whatever social medias you have. 
I'll give you the link just in case it doesn't cover your social media too. All right, so let's take a look at this design. This is my Love Dragons design. Um, first, when I was coming up with this design, I was trying to think of what it would say because I didn't know if I wanted to say Love Dragons. I knew I wanted a dragon in it. But um, originally, my plan was to have uh, the dragon in it be more of a flying dragon. Uh, this kind of a perched dragon uh, sitting up there, but I, I, I like the wing shape the best on this one. Um, I, I have a style of drawing that I think comes off as a lot more cartoony than I wanted. Um, so I wanted to express something more, more grown up, I guess, with this. So I, I went with this, uh, dragon shape. There are a bunch of dragon shapes, and I also tried to copy this first, and it wasn't working out, so I, I gave up, and I found what I wanted on that solo website I use. And in case you're wondering, that silhouette is uh, commercial free. It's I'm able to use it commercially free. So that's helpful. <laughs> um, and then the font I used uh, was some one of the sharper ones that I got for like the heavy metal rock kind of thing. Because I thought it worked better with that dragon. Um, you know, where it has the curved lines and actually with how the wings are shaped on the dragon it works because they're the letters are all sharp around the edges so it goes in there and then i did i use the same font um doesn't actually say i know if i keep clicking i i'll find out but uh doesn't really matter anyway I used, I think, the same font. If I look at it, it does look pretty much the same. I do have another font that's similar. I may have used that. Um, but what I did was like gr the green and the black on the main part, and then I switched it for the dragons at the bottom. And I think that works a lot better than just giving it all one color. And then I used another free resource, which had free textures. And I put it under each letter in the dragon and also the background circle, because then it, it just makes it look a little grittier and a little more real, which is something I liked. And I chose green first because most people think of a green as like being a dragon. A dragon is more well associated with lizards and lizards are more associated with green. So I did green first and um, I probably had the uh, background layer. Um, I, I just used that for reference basically. I cut it out at the, see, I just take it off when I'm printing and when I print out the graphic and then put it on a different shirt and try to match the color. And um, at first, I didn't do the circle, but I I thought it wasn't enough. It wasn't differentiated enough. I thought it looked cool and everything, and actually the letters do pop out a bit, but I thought it would work better with a circle, so I had that circle to see, and the circle worked. Um, what I had to do was decrease the size of the lettering, because I didn't know exactly where they should go. And what I would do in the future, if I mean, I've already uploaded the design as this, and I think it's good and all, but it may have looked better if it was a bit larger of a design, you know, um, or if the lettering was larger. I think I, I think that would have worked more than I more than I thought at the time. So um, that's the only thing because. Um, I, I actually really enjoyed this design and I enjoyed doing it. So originally this word here, I think I started to say it and didn't say it. Um, originally this word was going to be fantasy because um, I just thought that would be an interesting niche to go into. And I ended up going with uh, just dragons because, you know, I wanted a dragon shirt. 
Um, and if I had the money, I would probably buy myself uh, one of these designs. The reason I opened a couple different ones, it's the same design, but it's different colors. So when I designed this, I'm like, well, you know, it would look cool in this color. So I did red, as you can see it in red here. And I thought the red looked good. And then I was thinking, well, if I'm going to do red, I should also do my favorite color, which is blue. So I did the blue design here, right? I mean, and the blue looks good. It's a little brighter, a little lighter. I, I think when I was labeling them, I used the elements. So uh, nature, fire, and ice. I know it could probably be for water, but I wanted to go ice. So anyway, now we're going to take a look at it over on um, the website, the Red Bubble website. Hello and uh, welcome to the Red Bubble product page for uh, my Love Dragons design. This is the green design, uh, as you can see. It looks, well, I think it looks pretty good. It did show up on the gray. Um, the only problem with the lighter shirts is the background kind of dissolves into that. Um, it's probably better on the darker shirts, but even like, even this one, which isn't as dark, it's all right on. Uh, and one of the good things is it doesn't fold in, like I know I was saying the, uh, the words didn't come out, like they probably could have been bigger, but they're not that small on this, so that, that ultimately I think is a good thing. But when I was taking a look at this before, see I have it on a bunch of different things, shirts of all kinds, there's a mini skirt um, that has the pattern design. Um, hmm. Looks kind of stretched out on that. I don't know if I care for that as much. I mean, it might be good, like, I don't know if it's your style, then why not, right? Um, that's, that's basically why I do all these. Uh, but this is what I was talking about on the stickers. Um, the stickers for every color uh, turn out like this, where the background circle thing is so... It, it's kind of faded a lot, so all you see is this pretty much white circle. There's a little bit of color to it. You can tell it's not exactly the same as the white around the edges. Um, so I would have liked the sticker better if it did that, but if you go to look up the transparent sticker, uh, the transparent sticker, if it loads in, okay, there we go. It doesn't have as much of the problem because you can see through it. So, um, if you were going to go for a sticker, if I was going to go for a sticker, I would much rather have the transparent sticker. Um... And, uh, oh, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> All right, this way we can do it. So here's it, the red one, it's pretty much the same. Uh, a lot of these turned out, I guess a lot of the shirt colors don't have the red, so a lot of them came out on black. But actually the red design looks best with the black. I mean, or, I. All I mean is the red design actually works well with the black. I think it works well with the red as well. Um, and this is what I was talking about. It's on these shirts. For whatever reason, it, my designs always look too large for them. Like they're going over and getting kind of warped. But this is nice because it's not, not as warped. But you don't get too many colors on that, on that graphics t-shirt. Anyhow. We'll go look um that i don't want to waste your time with all this stuff but then there's the sticker still you, you any color you'd want to go with the transparent sticker i would think came out all right on the clock it looks a little small on the clock i think i was afraid to make it too big because it's, if you make it so it takes up all the space it won't work right 
looks good on those little coasters too. Um, I always like the coasters. I think most designs turn out all right on the coasters. Um, that might be a nice uh, gift idea. And then uh, you can sort of personalize it with the, uh, where'd it go? Oh, I don't know why it opened into this view. I must have clicked the wrong thing. So anyway, I, I like the blue best because blue is my favorite color and it actually does look really cool on these things you can see. Um, here's a dress here. But anyway, I want to show you this because some of my family members have been looking for dragons sort of things. Um, I'm not sure if this is quite what they were looking for, but um, it's something I would share and I would think would make a good gift or someone who likes fantasy and dragons and that sort of thing. And of course there's uh, cell phone cases and phone case, phone wallets and uh, prints and all this kind of stuff, uh, even a backpack. Although I, I like the drawstring bag better. Um, couple bags, not bad either. Mask, no, button, no pen. I guess is what it's called. There's a notebook, journal, and kind of stuff. So that's basically what I want to show you. Um, and yeah. All right. Well, yeah, take a look at it and I'll see you on the other side. So my friends, now we've reached the end of the road. Um, I, we took a look at that love dragons design uh, in different colors. So you get to see green, red, and blue. Um, I, of course, have the links to all of those down below in the thing. Description. That's the word. All right. Um, also, I wanted to say that you are awesome because you are awesome. Uh, it's just something people should hear once in a while. Um, there are more videos on my YouTube website and um, more videos coming out. So be sure to subscribe for more videos. And uh, links are below in the description, as I mentioned. You've got the links to the designs. There's also a link to my website, to the Redbubble website in general, and to... Uh, some social media sites I use. Then if you haven't had that uh, special moment yet, you might also hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell so you're notified of new videos. Um, comment on this video. And also, uh, when you're done with that, come back up and uh, hit that little button that says share. And you'll share this video on, you know, Twitter and Facebook and all the social medias and if you don't have a social media that's listed there you can share it well like say you want to share it via email you can share the link via email because it gives you the link so yeah and one more time the products are available at absurdlyepic.redbubble.com again links are below also, uh, stay for the after thingy because I do something special for the after thingy. It might not be that special, but it's something I enjoy. And hopefully it's fun for you too. All right, well, take care and thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.